new stuff alert, new stuff alert. So guess what? Exciting news, exciting news, everyone. And if I can only take a break for like three seconds so I can tell you all the exciting news. I've made a new skin. I got sick and tired of my old skin that I made when I was like 15. So I took some time, I sat down, and I made myself a new skin. But I'm not the only one who's done this. No, no, no. Waffle Time has also made a new skin. So guess what? We've got a lot of new stuff. And also, this thing's starting to go hard, man. So this shit's so shit busting now. Shit busting for real. But yeah, we got... We got some new stuff to show off, so I'm super excited. Also, I want to apologize if it's a little bit echoey in here. I had to rearrange my room because we got a ginormous couch and we had to fit half of it in my room. So I'm over on the side that doesn't have any soft things on the wall. So it may sound a little echoey until I you know, go online and get some acoustic foam or something. But until then, um, we're, we're just going to have to live with it. The new skin revealer 9000. I just walk in this door here? Oh, you're here, huh? Yes, yes. Yeah, walk in that door. All right. Go ahead and walk on in. All right. How do you feel? I'm scared. I'm nervous. What if? What if? Do you notice a little lever on the side over there? I do. Whenever you're ready, you're gonna click that lever, and these blocks are gonna move so we can see each other. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Three, two. One. I'm scared. Me too. All right, three, two, one, go. Ooh. Holy shit. Holy fucking cannoli, you look cool. Dude, you look tight as fuck, bro. Dude, you look sick. I gotta go around this one. Oh, go around I gotta there. go around this one. And for those of you who haven't seen mine yet, or haven't seen Moff Time's video, here's my new skin. Looking nice, <laughs> looking nice. And crisp, dude. We look like we look like some killers, bro. This is yeah. We're ready to do some murdering or something. All right, that was cool. That was fun. But we have some very, very serious work to be doing. Now I've had like this turbo project for for college due this week. So and I'm recording this Friday night. I've literally I've just turned it in. And um oh hello. Yeah. So I haven't been on the server in a couple of days, and I am like mad behind, like very far behind. So, uh, I've mentioned it before, I think my goal for this week's episode is to get some villagers going on. So, first thing that we're going to need is a villager breeder. I'm going to put it probably somewhere right over here. I'm thinking this is going to be my little villager ravine. And I'm going to just, like, I need some villager trading bad. So, we're just, we're just going to stop talking and we're just going to do it. All right. I'm done messing around. We are doing this now. One thing I have noticed in my absence from the server is that there's now these uh, Puerto Rican flags everywhere. I'm not exactly sure why, but they're, they're on all the nether portals now, so... I don't know if that's like the server flag now or not, but I mean, it's kind of cool. It has a little bit of color here, at least. This giant nether roof. Join the Muffin Man Militia today. Is that what these flags are? are these the, Is this the Muffin Man Militia? Oh man, it's getting out of hand in here. Maybe wondering why I'm over in Waffle Time's little area right now. I have once again come to ask for Waffle Time's financial assistance. So you knew, And you know that it's his because of this sign right here. Um, yeah, we need potatoes or carrots or something for this uh, little villager breeder. So I'm gonna just uh, just wait for these to grow, and I'm gonna just uh, take a couple of them. And and as always, as always, I will pay him back. Okay, I I, I gave him his string back. You know, everything else that I took from his, I gave him back. I'm a nice person, and I pay people back. This is a investment opportunity. So that's that's what this is here. So we're just gonna. Take a little potato. I see all planted back. They're gonna grow back in no time. There's no need to worry. I'm a I'm a perfectly good partner on this server. Uh, everything that I take, I always give back. Holy smokes, dude! All right, just walked into the shopping center for the first time in a while. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. Jeez. So no head. Man, well there's a there's a lot of new stuff in here. But specifically, we are after this. See, I. Completely forgot that I needed some slime for a little villager breeder that I'm working on, and uh, I was so worried. I said, oh man, I don't want to have to dig out a whole slime chunk, and I remembered, hey, we got shops for that now. It ain't even a thing. I'm going to just take one out the middle and uh, throw one of these in there. Man, it saved my life um, more times than I can count. Figure, I figure since he's selling the slime, I should probably buy it instead of just taking it. So I thought a good way to do this recording here would be in the form of a third person time lapse. I recently got a little camera account and I thought, hey, good chance to try it out right now. So this is the result of that little third person time lapse going on right here. I'm just building a little villager breeder. 
Uh, thank God for waffle time on this. Honestly, I talk about this man saving my life so many times, but Jesus, trying to get these stupid villagers through the nether portal and into this stupid little villager breeder took so goddamn long. I don't even want to think about it right now. But anyways, yeah, enjoy. It is done. The villager breeder is done. Now the breeder itself, all this here, didn't take all that long. In fact, it, it probably only took 20, 30 minutes, something like that. What took a long time was this thing. The freaking trek to get the villagers here. And oh my god, these things did not want to cooperate. Let me tell you. If it wasn't for Waffle Time's help, uh, you might have seen him during the video coming over here and helping me corral the villagers. But if it wasn't for his help, this would have taken absolutely ages. Since these things just were such a pain in the ass. But yeah, I transported them from all the way over here, which is uh, why it took a little while. But hey, at least now we get the satisfying piece of uh, getting rid of this giant minecart rail, which will be nice and fun. But yeah, Village Breeder's done, yeah. Next thing we've got to work on is the trading hall, which I am very much looking forward to because, let's be honest, we need some trades. Ayo, hey, real question, Denko Wizard. Are you ever going to make anything that looks actually nice? And the answer to that is... Yes, I am going to make something that looks nice. It's going to go right here. This is going to be the villager training hall. It's going to come right out of this main section of my base once I finish it. It's going to go right here, but um, I'm going to actually build this up in a nice looking building right now. So I'm actually going to have something that looks nice and something that's not just the bare minimum, you know? Now, in order to build this, I'm going to need some concrete. I'm going to need a bunch of wood. Uh, I've already got a good amount of wood, but I need to go gather some concrete. So I'm going to just grab my, my one and only faithful shulker box, go to a biome, level it, go to a gravel biome, level it, and just come back with a lot of white concrete because that's going to be the main block that we use for, for the base. Now, after a little bit of digging around, this is what the hall is looking like. Uh, I understand that there's not as much gravel as there is sand, which means at some point I'm going to have to go back and get more gravel. That's just because we ran into a bit of a situation here with the durability on my shovel. So I'm going to have to get a mending book real quick and do some time at the at the grinder. And then on my way back, uh, my I realized that my leecher were getting kind of low. And so I checked them out mid-flight and saw this and had about a heart attack and just unequipped them and took the fall damage right where I was. So, yeah, needless to say, we're going to have to spend a little bit of time by this thing. Hold up, hold up. I just started recording. I have never seen this before. Is that diamond armor on this thing? I don't even know what it is. Hold up. That's a... That's a zombie with full diamond armor that just fell down from here. This is full diamond armor on this guy. What? I have? I didn't even know that they could do that. Did he pick something up? There's no way. Hold on. I gotta kill this guy and see... Oh my god. I just... I got it. I don't know what to do with this guy. I'm gonna just take a little screenshot here for the proof. I actually don't care what anyone says. I don't care if this is cheating. This is the greatest plugin that's ever been invented. Look at that. All that white concrete, just like that. Now, wherever you are, whether you're watching this in the US, Canada, Europe, Asia, right, where, wherever you are, you might think that you're ready for what you're about to see. But I can assure you that you're not. This is it. It's massive, I know, all right? I'm not fucking playing with these motherfuckers anymore. This is gonna be the villager trading hall. It's gonna be a double decker thing, all right? I'm gonna have two whole layers. One on the bottom is gonna be strictly for books. The one on the top is gonna be for pretty much everything else. My farmers, my blacksmiths, all those guys. And they are gonna be the ones giving me my actual trades. So this place is pretty big, I know. It comes right up to the edge of this thing, which is what I want. This thing, I'm gonna be extending it down in a little bit. I'm probably not gonna have the villagers go right up to the edge here. This is more just like a, a house kind of structure. It's gonna be open from this side because eventually there's gonna be a building around here that it's gonna to connect to. But for once, for once, I'm actually gonna make a building that I can go inside of. I'll probably make this little attic area like a little temporary bedroom and stuff. Um, also, check it out. Check it out. It's working. I got a kid. Ha ha ha. He's trapped. Poor sucker. I'm not sure why he's trying to get out. That might be a problem or an issue that we have to address. But he's he's supposed to be pressed up against the edge there. But hopefully when he grows up, he'll just 
shoop, right up in there and then go right up into the corner right here. And we'll know that our villager breeder is working. So awesome. I'm very, very happy. It should start speeding up here as soon as, yeah, yeah, as soon as these things start growing in more and that thing's all filled up. But I'm really, really happy about that because that means that these things are finally working. So, so I plan on using a little bit of black stone in my base, pretty much just as like the trim for roofs and little bits of foundation. So I don't plan on using all of that much, but at the same time, it is such a pain to go all the way to the nether, off of the nether roof, down to Y16 and do a bunch of strip mining for a bunch of black stone. So I went and I gathered about as much as humanly possible. Uh, with the added benefit, I found a three ancient debris, and I think I've got four or five more in my chest, uh, which means we should be able to get like two pieces of uh, netherite, which is really, really sweet because, uh, you know, don't like my stuff burning in lava. The only question is like, what should I make netherite and what should I keep? I'm not entirely sure yet, so give your suggestions down in the comments. I'm thinking my pickaxe. I'm not super keen on doing it on my armor first because my armor is all unenchanted. So I'm thinking either my pickaxe or my sword. Okay, so the walls are in, the floor is in. I've got these little torches marked out to where all the villagers are gonna go, at least for the first layer. So next step is get the roof in, get it all decorated on the outside, and then hopefully you get some villagers in here. I don't know if I've got any ones that are grown up yet. Doesn't look like it, but I've got the fuck. What is this? Why are the grown ups in there? Oh, I'm steaming right now, bro. I'm just. Oh my god. Pain in the ass, I can tell you that. Pain in my ass. Anyways, I'm gonna fix this situation somehow. And then, yeah, hopefully I can get all this going. God damn it, I'm so mad. Just for the sake of proof, for everyone who didn't believe me, like I said, this thing goes hard sometimes. Other times, it's just dry as a bone. And I'm pretty sure it's because... Only me and Wolf Time are on right now. I think when there's a lot of people on, it's loading a bunch of mobs in other places, so it's like not as good. But just for proof, just just so everyone knows, I'm not lying. All right, this thing is, has been going a lot better. How fucking long does it take for these kids to grow up? I had to slaughter everyone in here just to put a little slab down because I read somewhere that that fixes the problem. It doesn't look like it's gonna fix the problem, but we'll see. A ton of progress has been made. Ready to see it? There it is. Got the roof on, got the walls in. Now I know it looks ugly from this side. It's because we're gonna attach it to something here. So I wanna be able to like shave this off if I need a couple more blocks. But check out how it looks from over here. Ba-bam. Now, I'm not quite sold on this look yet. I might change it up a little bit. I think there might be a little bit too much stone brick, but I'm thinking a little clock face up there, uh, the doorway, of course, and then a little like patio area, something like this. I'm thinking this is going to be like, it, maybe not the main entrance, but one of the main entrances, because sometimes people will come from over here. At least that's where Wolf Town space is. Uh, so something that people can just land on, you know, and enter. But yeah, a little entrance, a little clock face. I'm thinking might do this place some good. Now I just need to do a little bit more decorating in here and then a little bit more decorating on the inside. Um, I recognize the large... Uh, large gap right between here and the ground and I, I have an idea I maybe don't have an idea for it but I address the issue which is the first step in fixing any problem this is in fact an issue so what's probably going to end up happening is I'm going to do some terraforming to make this like either come up here or I'm going to have like a little kind of u-shaped terraforming so I've got a little cave underneath it but whatever ends up happening this is eventually going to get covered up so there's probably going to be some kind of wing that juts out from here so that's the plan that I've got right now. But I'm going to do a little bit more decorating. You also might notice the thing's working now. Thank God. Um, yeah, it turns out just a little slab right here uh, fixes that problem. So we finally got some villagers. We can go and start sending them in there once I'm done decorating. And uh, then we'll get a little bit of trading action going. And I honestly can't wait. I am so excited because I desperately need some books. All right, time to see how I like it. Let's see. It's actually not that bad. I think I might end up doing this. Yeah, this looks nice. I like it. So obviously I'm going to have to duplicate this on the other side. And of course, we're going to want another layer up here, but I'm going to be mine carting them in like this pretty much. So uh, once I get each layer done, then I'll go ahead and put the one on top of it and it should be good. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm liking this a lot. This is looking real cool. So the idea is you just press that button, you come up, come around, pop into this little walkway here, and then I very gently nudge them along the path until they get to that little hole at the end. And then I promptly plug it up and bring the next one along. In theory, I'm imagining a lot of pushback from this villager, but I'm thinking maybe if I put like a bed down there or something, actually, yeah, let me go do that real quick. Now the hope is that I, I don't exactly know a lot about villager pathfinding, but I'm hoping that they can see the bed back here and will at least be attracted to it somewhat so that I can nudge them along and then they find it and can fall in their little slavery basket. That's, that's the hope, but we'll see if it actually works. I also haven't actually tested out this firing mechanism here. So uh, first time for everything, I guess let's do it. Oh no, oh no, 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 please, please. Fucking hell. Okay, we can handle this. Where am I, please? There we go. He is in the hallway. Break this. I gently, oh fuck my life. Okay, great, he's just stuck in there forever now. Get out of the corner. I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. Move, you fat fuck. I'm going to start hitting people. I'm going to start hitting people. Let me try doing this right here. If I put a bed right here, he will, in fact, try and get to it. Okay, good. Move to your bed, please. Move to... No. No, you son of a bitch. Move to your bed bed. Fucking oaf. Get rid of his stupid bed. And I put it over here. Maybe. Perhaps. Stop that. Oh my god. I'm about to get violent with this guy. Quit. Wait, you see your bed. You see it. You are looking right at it. Get. There we go. Ha ha, sucker. And then I just slosh one. I don't have any planks on me, but that'll have to do. And there we go. That's, that's not too bad. And we've got a little villager in here. And he's trapped. Thank God. Now I'm going to basically have to repeat that like a thousand times. The question on everyone else's minds right now. How am I going to do that for so long without losing my mind? And the short answer is that I'm going to turn off the recording. I'm going to put on a, an album of just some nice, relaxing music, and I'm going to not sleep tonight. That's basically the plan on how I'm going to do that. So I'll see you all in the morning when I'm nice and pissed off. It's been like three hours. This is what I've got to show for it. Now, it may not look like a lot, but to me, this is everything. <laughs> this took so freaking long. I've got a couple of extra guys in here. Getting them in the spot isn't the tough part I've discovered. It's getting them their freaking trades because they like to just sit there and give me channeling for 18 times in a row. I'm very proud of this mending trade right here, so I'm definitely keeping him. But I've got a couple of the bare essentials right here, and then I've just got a trading guy right here. But it's become painfully obvious to me that there's a glaring issue, and it's that I don't have any emeralds to continue trading with these guys to lock their trades in place. So I'm gonna have to put this on pause real quick while I make a little melon and pumpkin farm. Just a tiny one, just a little, little guy. He's gonna go right down here, and we're gonna immediately just cover him up and hook him to some chests and never talk about him, just let him run. He's gonna be the little little homunculus we've got in the basement that no one ever talks about. So that's the situation there. In case you're wondering where I'm getting the melons from, uh, I don't have any melons, so it's just gonna be pumpkins. And I'm gonna, you know, grow this guy out, hopefully get a couple of pumpkins going and then build this guy together. Shouldn't take too long. I've already got all the resources for it. it it's not a particularly, oh, it's over here. It's not a particularly hefty project. It's just these things right here. I'm gonna just slap this thing, this guy down real quick. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. You know, I told myself I was gonna do this real quick and I was gonna go to bed, but I am just way too invested in this now. And it's like, I need to complete this project before. Oh my God, 
I need to complete this project because I need to AFK overnight, you know, obviously. So it's like, man, this sure is taking a while. It's getting pretty late, but I gotta finish it. I gotta do it for the fans. Sheesh, what is doing my fucking frame rate in right now? Wow. Yep, that'd be it. Well, at least we know this thing works. At least when I'm the only one online. Well, and she's ham. And with that, this thing should be done. I'm just gonna light the area up and close it up, make sure nothing falls out. And we should be good to hopefully test it out a little bit. I'm excited to see if it works. I, wow, I guess that means it works. Sheesh. Okay, that's just the plants growing. It's just, it's gonna be doing that for a little while, isn't it? Okay. But yeah, when this thing is actually functional, what will happen is basically these things will grow a pumpkin off to one side. The observer will see that it's grown. It'll smash it, and then this minecart system that's underneath will pick it up and deposit it right into this chest here. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of AFKing overnight. I'm going to just pretty much just chill out here, let this thing bulk on up, let this thing do its thing, and check back in the morning and see how it's doing. I'm hoping... Hoping that when I come back here, I'll have a nice juicy chest full of pumpkins, but we'll see how that goes. Unhappy. I've just logged back into the server and uh, seen this. Now, luckily things could be worse. The, the guys back over here are still good, so I can just kill all these guys and repopulate, but it's just such a pain in the ass because I need I need these people. Um, but luckily, on the good news, this farm is working and we've got a good amount of pumpkins now, so. Once we get some trades going on, some more trades going on with some farmers, then we will have a steady source of emeralds. So I just need to fix this, I guess. Getting this stupid splash potion of weakness was just a whole process. I had to go find a nether fortress, which I found out the nearest one is like a thousand blocks away so I can get one puny little blaze rod so I can cook one puny little spider eye and get two little puny little splash potions and found out that I only had enough for two golden apples. I only had enough gold for two golden apples, so I had to kill all but two of these guys. And they're, you can't really see them right now, but they're crammed in there together. I'm really, really hoping that I can do this without killing one of them. I'm gonna block some of this off so that they don't burn, and then I'm gonna block off the water here so that they can spread out a little bit. Okay, no, 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 no. Fucking asshole. Dumbass. Get under the fucking... Oh my god, I'm gonna hurt you. Eat your stupid shit. Get out of the sun, fucking asshole. Oh my god, I'm gonna hurt you. Where's my pickaxe? Oh my fucking god. Why are these things so stupid? Why are you retarded? Well, I've got one at least. At least I can make a farmer, I guess, and then have to get the other one from up there. God, that's annoying. Why are these things so stupid? I don't understand. All right, but we've made some pretty good progress today, so I think that this is a good spot to end it off. We got, of course, the villager trading going. We got some farms over here. Got our little automatic farm and this gigantic building right here. Before next episode, I'm going to try and fill this up as much as I can, but the main thing I want to work on for next episode is I want to get a little bit of iron farm action going. I'm going to put a little iron farm around here. And I also want to get set up with some storage for our farms. So those are the two main things we're going to worry about next episode. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Wizard, and peace out.